Hi, let's talk about the superior mediastinum. In this video, we'll discuss the major contents of the superior mediastinum. As you may recall, the superior mediastinum is the superior portion of the mediastinum. Its borders include the first rib and superior thoracic inlet. Uh, so that's going to be more antero superior. Posteriorly, we have thoracic vertebrae two, three, and four, at least their bodies. And then inferiorly, we have the thoracic plane. That's the plane that's prescribed by the line between the sternal angle and the intervertebral disc between T4 and T5. Now over here, we can see the rough borders of the superior mediastinum, but I want you to keep in mind that this is a little deceptive because that manubrium is back at an angle. So there's more of a, a wedge shape to that than a cube. Let's take a look at some of the contents and we can move from uh, anterior or superficial to posterior or deep and take a look at what we can see. So there is the superior vena cava draining into the right atrium. That superior vena cava has tributaries of the right brachiocephalic vein, the left brachiocephalic vein, which is cut and reflected away here, but which would normally traverse this space. We can also see a little bit of the azagous vein there. We'll detail that in the posterior mediastinum. We can see the arch of the aorta and its major branches. So the proximal portions of the brachiocephalic trunk uh, the left common carotid artery and the left subclavian artery are within this space. We can also see the vagus nerves descending down from the carotid sheath to enter into this space as well. As we move a little deeper, there's one uh, component here that is pretty superficial, and this is reflected upwards. This is an example of thymic fat which is the replacement for the thymus gland, which would normally overlay this region. It involutes post-puberty and goes through a process of fibrosis and turns into connective tissue, which is what you see there. We can still see the superior vena cava, the arch of the aorta here. We can also see moving toward the superior mediastinum, the pulmonary trunk, and that bifurcates into the pulmonary arteries, left and right. And in association with that left pulmonary artery, we could see this structure. That's the ligamentum arteriosum, which is a remnant of the ductus arteriosus, which conducts blood from the origin of the left pulmonary artery to the arch of the aorta in utero. So that's a way to bypass pulmonary circulation. Here, it's just a fibrous ligament, however. Moving deeper, um, we can see the trachea, and behind the trachea, we can see the esophagus, that muscular tube heading down towards the stomach. The trachea is going to bifurcate at about the level of the thoracic plane, so we've got the carina there that helps to direct air traffic between the right main stem bronchus and the left main stem bronchus. We can see further there's a vagus nerve, the left vagus nerve giving off the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. The right vagus nerve is in a little closer approximation there. It's, it's a little out of view, but it's going to be wrapping around there. We can see the phrenic nerves. So there's one phrenic nerve. There is the other phrenic nerve just on the borders of the superior mediastinum. And we, we can't get a good look at it here, but moving up in this tracheoesophageal groove and then crossing over from left to right before ascending again is going to be the thoracic duct of the lymphatic system. And speaking of lymphatics, we'll find some lymph nodes in this region. So tracheobronchial nodes around here, these are going to feed into bronchomediastinal trunks, which will ascend the superior mediastinum heading towards the venous angles at the, uh, the root of the neck. So we've discussed the boundaries of the superior mediastinum and some of the major contents. Again, please do pay close attention to that 
thoracic plane, that's going to give you a, a, a lot of guidance with respect to, to how to navigate this space. This is your summary slide. Thank you for your time.